hello guys uh, welcome back in this video let's explore sharpen tool in the toolbox so if you could see in the toolbox here we have blur tool we have sharpen tool and then we we have smudge tool so i'm going to choose the sharpen tool here before going into the sharpen tool i would like to tell what is sharpen actually means for that i go to the filter and we have a section called sharpen and then use this unsharp mask tool it's a filter basically so when i switch off the preview and switch on the preview you see there is a huge contrast uh, in the colors so the whites and the skin tones what we have here were sort of blending nicely and the colors are like uh, of mid range but when i sharpen it the mid tone slightly bright colors are becoming extremely bright the mid tone slightly dark colors are extremely becoming dark and there is a huge contrast between the light colors the dark colors and the mid tone colors so there is a separation and that actually makes the picture look so sharp using sharpen tool i can do a specific part of the picture okay more sharp how do i do that just click that sharpen brush so sharpen tool is more or less like a brush uh, in photoshop which we have the size control we can make the brush harden and we can take different types of brush tips and their dynamics okay so i can generally um, take a brush here okay and then just uh, rub there and then you should able to see that part of the picture becoming more sharp than the other part of the picture okay so when we are using a filter called sharpen it was doing to the whole picture but here we are affecting that sharpen only to a specific part so we have strength which is basically the more intense sharpness is uh, achieved with a uh, number of clicks let's say if i put a 50% strength and then i do couple of times then i get a result whereas increase the sharpness i need not do that many number of strokes so the intensity of sharpness will be multiplied with the strength option here okay and then we have uh, different types of modes which is quite interesting here so we have uh, darken lighten hue saturation color luminosity okay so if i take instead of normal if i take the darken and then start applying the filter here okay so what it does is it is uh, if you could see the dark pixels i mean the darker areas are looking more prominent here the the rest of the skin looks untouched if you could see it's untouched but the dark pixels are becoming more sharp making it look more rugged and uh, you can choose uh, the lighten which is opposite of that where the bright part of the picture becomes more sharp it looks very nice let's say you want to sh uh, show the skin more oily and more shiny than you could generally use it as you could see okay so that is lighten so very similarly you have a hue which will sharpen only the hue value so if you could see there's a change in the color so in sharpen it does not uh, i mean it may not look great um now hue is uh, something really i like um the reason is if you are aware of uh, some camera effect called chromatic aberration so it is giving that so sort of effect to your picture when you are using the hue sharpen okay so you have color also which does very similar effect so it also gives me the chromatic aberration effect to the picture and then we have luminosity it again 
makes the lights and shadows both luminosity is like when you are choosing darken it was affecting only the dark part lighten was affecting the light part whereas luminosity it's affecting the light information which is both including the light and dark areas and it gives you more sharp crisp image the sample all layers which is basically if i want to apply this effect on across all the layers in the composited image then it will work and then you have protect all details if this is off generally when you are sharpening up there's a chance of uh, your image getting pixelated so protect details will actually um, okay if i choose the protect details feature on and then it sharps your picture but when i switch it off it is actually making more pixelated so that difference is seen with the protect detail feature and then we have this option this option is when you are using graphic pen tablet so your brush size is controlled by your pen pressure so that's the feature here